hands off. Regardless of the result of this match, uh, Martin Hengis will obviously stay at number one, and Steffi Graf will move up from number six in the world rankings to number three. Yes, I think really if she's going to concentrate on the slice down the line, she's got to wait really until she plays her most accustomed shot, that is the slice cross court, until she gets the real feel for that before switching to down the line. Very difficult suddenly in a match. She hasn't been using the down the line slice suddenly to produce it when nerves are just tingling a little bit more. First double. And uh, things going from bad to worse so far as the five-time champion is concerned. Merci. Good bit of variation there, a little bit of wrong footing. We saw Agassi do that so well against her batty. She's doing a lot of running around of the uh, backhand where she used it quite happily against Sellers. Here yeah, she's really looking to bring the big forehand into play a lot sooner. As in the first game, she recovers from 15.40 to Juice, but in the first she went on to lose her serve. Finds the line. Yes, this is the tactic, the slice cross court now better used and then an immediate run round instead of playing a few slices in succession. Ready, peppering away at the Hingis forehand and Graf opens her account to one Hingis. One, zero. The overhead camera that has brought us some lovely shots. How nice to see umbrellas up because of sunshine rather than rain. That's good because Hingis, having seen her forehand peppered, was moving that way. Zero counts. Yes, the way Graf uh, ran to her chair really after uh, holding her game in the last serve. Sometimes, of course, it doesn't end, end up that way. You feel uh, really buoyed, and then uh, you're a little deflated by what the opposition very often does. And in the circumstances, not a clever drop shot by Hingis, because if the wind's anything down there as it is above, she's drop shotting with the wind. It was only going to take the ball to Graf. Graf breaks back, and it would appear that her nerves have settled. Two 
Yes, that's the importance of those uh, two save break points by Graf. Really made a huge difference. I'm told, really, that she was much herself in practice this morning. Hingis practicing outside and court 10 was uh, really very nervous. Very contrary. When she was offered this sort of water, she wanted that. She didn't see the funny side of life. Her opposition in practice this morning was playing a lot of uh, backhand slices to her, as uh, one could imagine, getting used to it. Of course, there are not too many women who slice the ball as Graf does. that time really moving Graf around once again Graf finds herself love 30 well it's certainly apparent that we're going to see a lot more net play really perhaps than expected as Hingis seeks to take it from a, a much more aggressive graph than usual. Exclamation from Hingis at the uh, superb forehand. Yes, and perhaps uh, reflecting that the graph power is uh, so much more exceeding hers forehand to forehand. come close to cracking it. She's having a good look at the frame. Yeah. I think it's gone. Congratulations, 